All right, we're on to skill number 11, which is called Draw a Road. And this is actually a subset under skill 10, but Drawing a Road is a little bit more involved. And Drawing a Road is very pertinent to EMS and EMSC because a lot of things that we work with, such as safe transport, are also essentially just thinking about the transporting, whether going to the scene of an incident or transporting the patient to a hospital involves a road. So I get often asked, how do I draw a road for my infographic? So I'm going to go to the area where I had started creating a custom infographic and earlier in the rotate remember we had created the star of life and then also in the last one creating basic shapes we had drawn a badge well I moved those off to the side and then what I did is I found a picture that had essentially like a road or a flow that I really liked for a road and I'm gonna draw over the top of it but I'm gonna draw a road so the way to do that is once again with shapes. So I have it as an option under the quick access toolbar at my top because I've added it there or you can find it under insert and shapes. So either way, go ahead and go there and we're going to go with this free form shape. Now this is actually a shape, but I'm going to show you how you can draw a line. So start at the top of whatever road you want to draw over. You can also draw it freehand without having to follow one. And what you do is you click for each anchor point you want. And then you, after releasing the button on your mouse, you go to the next location that you want to anchor and click. And then you just keep following it through. And I found the least amount of anchor points you have is actually better for in this case because each point is essentially a point you might have to edit. And I'm just doing this very quickly, almost sloppily you can think of it. And if it's very important for my road to be, the line to be really straight, I can use the shift key on my keyboard. But it doesn't really matter for this, at least for these demonstration purposes. As you can see, I'm kind of drawing over the stuff that's already there. That's because I don't need that. And then I have my endpoint. You may be thinking, well, I have to bring it back full circle to make a shape. Well, we only want a line. So when I get to the end point, when I use that free form and I don't want to draw anymore, I just simply hit enter on my keyboard. And then I have my road there. So let me go ahead and move this off. I'm pretty happy with that road overall. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this picture. I no longer need it. It was just to give me a basic idea for the form. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to this. And I could go in and I can edit the points so they're not quite as pointed here. But I'm not going to waste time with that right now. I'm going to first move on to the line width. And I had mentioned that earlier in the recolor. So what we want to do is we want to make this a road. So the first thing I need to do is I like to double click because then it brings up that format tab. That's my shortcut to doing that. And it's not shape fill because it's a line. So we have to go to line outline. And what we want to do is choose a black. So go ahead, choose a black. And then what we want to do is we want to work on the weight. And six, as you can see, that still looks kind of wimpy for a road. So what we can do is go to more lines. And then you can choose your width. So I want to make sure I'm on line and not fill. And then where it says width, I'm going to go ahead and type in 20. When I do that, as you can see, it makes it a lot thicker, but that's not quite probably thick enough. So I'm going to type in 40. And you just keep modifying it until you find the width you like for your road. So let me zoom out, pan out. That looks pretty good. That's pretty good thickness for my road. 
And then what I want to do is, these still look kind of sharp, my points. So I want to go ahead and edit those. I'm going to go to the top just because I like to start, be systematic and start at one point. I could have started at the bottom as well. And I'm going to click on that line that I drew. And then I have this option. It's called Edit Points. I have it on my Quick Access Toolbar. I can also right click and choose Edit Points. And when I do that, then I can see all these individual points in here. So an option I have is I can actually go to one of these. And when I click on the point, I can right click and do delete point. And you're thinking, well, that makes it a right angle. Well, there's other things I can do. So I can click on the other point that's there. And when I do that, I get these little handles. And I can change these, and I can make it a little bit more um, rounded. That's one way to do it. Let me undo that. I don't want to do that one. Or I have this option of right click and choose smooth point. And what it does is it made it curved. That's still not quite what I wanted, so I'm going to undo, undo, and I want both points. So let's see what happens if I go ahead and I smooth point. That still makes it a little messy. Undo, undo. So what I can do is, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay. And I want to get to my top again. And when I click here on this point, like I said, I have the handles, I can just move these a little bit. And that will help me smooth out that point. So I can actually take this point and move it a little bit this way and then moving the handles. And then that made it a little bit smoother through that area. A little bit more rounded instead of pointed. And then I can go through and I can edit my road as I like. So I'm going to move this one back a little bit. I'm going to move these points as well. And just smoothing them out. So I'll continue to do that throughout. And I want to complete this step before I go to the next step, which I'm going to show you. But I'm going to leave this at this one. Let's just say I have them all smoothed out the way I want them. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pan back out or zoom out, whatever way you want to call it. And I have, and then I click out and I have my road. So roads have a dashed line in them. So a way to do that is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this road. I'm going to do Control D and that duplicates it. I'm going to move this off to the side. And this one off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and change the color. So let me go to the Format tab. And I'm going to make it, in this case, a yellow line. I could go with yellow or white because that's what the lines are on a road. And I'm going with yellow so it shows up better here on the screen. And then the next thing I want to do is I had that as one of my automatic options um, for the line shape. And then what I can do is go to the outline and I can change it to dashes. And that one looks pretty good, just experiment. And then the next thing I can just basically move it over. And then I don't have to worry about alignment because we're going to use the alignment that we showed in one of the earlier steps. I select both of them and then I go to the alignment option and I align center and then align middle. And it's there. Let me send this one to the back. And the reason I knew I had to send that one to the back is because I couldn't see my dash line. And now I have my road. So I can modify this road a little bit more if I don't quite like that dash. Like I think it's a little tight together. I can go to the outline and choose a bigger dash. Just find out what I like. 
what I think looks best. And then also I can go to the weight and do a slightly heavier weight and find one that I think looks really good. I think that one looks pretty good. And that's how I can draw a road. And I want to lock these two together now. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go ahead and select them. And then I'm going to group. And that way as I move one, it moves the other. And as you can see now, I have my road. And I can do other things as well. These are just some additional things. So let me go ahead and create just a little scene for you that maybe you want to create for EMSC. So I'm going to go ahead, insert. I could color the background, but what we found is there can be some issues with that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape over that because this is going to be the background. I'm going to color it green. Then I'm going to send it to the very back. I have my road over it. This green might be a little too dark. I'll have to wait and see because I want it to have the contrast with this with my road. But I'll see as I put more things on here. So since this one's about EMSC, I have my my star of life and I want this one to be on the front. So I'm going to bring to the very front and that way I can overlap. And I could put a little text box inside of there and have a message. And then also, let me go to the graphics library. And we have different things that we've created on here. Let me go to the slide sorter view. And then, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of options. So let me go to this EMS one. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this EMS agency. I'm going to go back here paste. I have my EMS agency and I can put that wherever I want it to be. And This is how you can build your own scene with the graphics that we created for you. And then I want an ambulance. I want a white one because I think it'll show up a little bit better so I can select several different ones I like. And I'm going to go ahead and copy. And then go to this slide and I'm going to paste them on. And then what I can do is I can put ambulances at different parts. Since that ambulance is facing that way and I want my road to follow through like people would normally read, I can do different things like this. I can move an ambulance there. I don't want to use that one. I'm just going to move him off. And then I'm going to go back here. And I want a hospital because they're going to go to the hospital. I have a couple different hospitals I can choose. Let me see what other ones I have. Hmm. I like this hospital. I'm going to go copy, paste, and my hospital here. I want my hospital to be bigger than that. So shift and resize. See, I can make the hospital pretty much the whole and point and then I'm creating my scene and I can add more in there and then if I do think this green is a little too dark I can right click and the fill color and then I can go actually to more fill colors and as I dra drag it up it'll get lighter and then I hit OK as you can see it creates a lighter one so thank you for joining me and that's how you can draw a road for your infographic